I can't believe Sarah asked me to cover her shift again. I'm always the one who has to step in. Why does she always expect me to help? It's just so unfair. Hey Leo, you look like you're deep in thought. Wanna share what's on your mind? Yeah, Sarah is asking me to work her shift this weekend and I feel really torn. I wanna help her, but I also need some time for myself. I don't know how to say no without feeling guilty. It sounds like you're feeling overwhelmed. Let's use the DBT skill of evaluating options to help you decide whether to say yes or no and how intensely to communicate your feelings. Are you ready? Sure, but I'm not sure how to start. Let's break it down. First, think about your needs. What do you need for yourself this weekend? I really need a break. I've been working a lot and I was looking forward to some downtime to recharge. Great, now let's consider Sarah's needs. What does she need by asking you to cover her shift? She has a family commitment and really needs someone to help her out. But I feel like I'm always the one who has to step in. It sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. I hear you saying you feel like you always have to step in. It's important to remember that not every situation is the same. Just because this has happened before doesn't mean you're always the one who has to sacrifice your needs. I guess, but it feels like I never get a break. It's like I'm either the supportive friend or I'm selfish. That sounds like black and white thinking, Leo. It's not just supportive or selfish. You can be both a good friend and prioritize your own needs. It's possible to support Sarah while also saying no. But if I say no, what if she gets upset with me? It's understandable to worry about that. However, overgeneralizing her reaction might lead you to feel trapped. What if she understands your need for a break? It's possible she'll appreciate your honesty. Now, let's think about the consequences of saying yes or no. What happens if you agree to cover her shift? If I say yes, I'll feel exhausted and probably resentful because I'll miss out on my downtime. But if I say no, I worry she'll be mad at me. Those are valid concerns. Let's evaluate how intensely you want to communicate your decision. If you say no, how do you want to express it? I guess I could say something like, I really can't cover your shift this time because I need the weekend for myself. But I'm worried it'll sound harsh. It doesn't have to be harsh. You can express your needs kindly. For example, you could say, I understand you're in a tough spot. I really need this weekend to recharge. Is there anyone else who might be able to help? That sounds better. I can show that I care about her situation while still standing up for my own needs. Exactly. By evaluating both sides and choosing how to express your decision, you can communicate effectively without compromising your own well-being. Thanks, DBT Fairy. I feel ready to talk to Sarah now. Remember, it's okay to prioritize your needs. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and understanding. You're not selfish for wanting some time for yourself. You've got this, Leo. Trust yourself to communicate your needs clearly.